If you think this looks like an engineering laboratory, you're forgiven for making that mistake. It is actually an Indiana University psychology classroom specially designed for these Hutton College honor students. The students formed teams and were required to build the very device they would later use to conduct an experiment. Uh, so we're making uh, a device called the Skinny, and what it does is it reads the, uh, the conductivity of, your, of your, the skin on your hands. But what do sweaty palms have to do with psychology? Uh, the more you sweat, the lower the resistance on your skin is, and the more you can electricity you can put through it. And that's what we're being able to sense with these devices. Being able to build something gives you a certain amount of investment in whatever the final product is. So I think that there's a degree of demystification that happens when you're actually able to build something. We're going to be carrying out experiments where we like test subjects in different social situations to see how much emotional sweating occurs. Some people are going to be testing like video gaming and like social media type activities and stuff like that just to see how people are affected emotionally by it. Fast forward a couple of weeks. The skinnies were assembled. It was time to put them to use. In this case, Brady talked her boyfriend into being her guinea pig. Um, I'll be starting this video for him. Um, it's the first of 10 video clips he'll be watching. Um, and the purpose of them is for him to be watching video clips um, that are potentially disturbing or cause certain emotional responses. And I say the sky is the limit. Anything that they decide to explore with respect to how the mind works could potentially have some physiological consequence that would be measurable with how much you'd sweat. A lot of this might have to do with emotional states. And in the same way, I think that's a probably pretty attractive thing. So it's a mystery, like what are you thinking? How do you feel at any given moment in time? And this actually gives us a method for exploring that.